Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a product review video. This is going to be a lot of FabFitFun stuff, but a lot of other stuff too. I realized I have, look at this, this is getting out of control. I'm going to zoom in on this. This is just getting bonkers. I really need to do something about it. And I'm just acquiring more and more stuff and it's so fun and I love it, but I'm definitely outgrowing my vanity. <laughs> anyway, so I used a product last night that was just amazing. It's an LMS product. I'm gonna talk about the few LMS products that I have used. That was the third one and that product tipped at me over the edge. I am sold. I am ready to jump on the LMS bandwagon and say that LMS is as awesome as everyone else says. They are a UK company and they don't test on animals and their stuff. I understand why it's so expensive. The first LMS product I used and tried is this LMS papaya enzyme peel. And I talked about this in a, another video with the first impression, and if you're new to my channel, I do talk about products multiple times because I like to give you my first impression, and then I like to use it a few more times, see if I'm liking it better, and then let you know how that's going, and then I do an empty and I tell you my final thoughts on the product. I think it's really important not to just use a product once and write it off and say that was awful because a lot of times it's my own darn fault if a product didn't work, and it could be amazing. And so my first impression on the LMS Pabaya enzyme peel, it was my first enzyme peel that I've ever used and with enzyme peels, the enzymes can go bad really easily. So I was a little bit skeptical, but to be perfectly honest, I've used this and I think it makes my skin feel very, very soft and I do feel like I have noticed my skin exfoliating after I use this. I have used it about four times now and it is not cheap. I got it in a FabFitFun sale for $24. And and I think that the retail price is something like 60 something dollars. It is not cheap, $24 isn't cheap, and you only get 1.6 fluid ounces, 50 milliliters in this little guy. And the other LMS, I got the winter collection in the winter FabFitFun edit sale, and it came with an eye cream and then these two things, and this is the third thing I'm gonna talk about, so I'll show you that later. I have an eye cream from them that I haven't used yet because I'm still using one, but this is one of the items that came in that winter collection. It is the Peptide 4000 Flower Mask, and I have talked about this one before. I do really like this one, but one thing about it is it's very, very dark, and I think that it can stay and look at, see that black? You put it on, and it's pretty much, it's pretty much black on your face. It has a really subtle, earthy smell. The so one thing that I really like about this one especially is that it has some ingredients, and I went into the ingredients deeper when I talked about it the first time. It has some really natural ingredients. I think it has something, and I'll correct myself across the screen if this is wrong. If you see nothing, it means I got it right. It has something called fulvic acid and humaic acid in it. What I remember is that those things help other ingredients absorb. This isn't cheap retail either. The winter collection that came with this silver bag, which is now full of a bunch of makeup that I've been purchasing because I'm get, doing get ready with me's now. And it came with this face mask and then it came with this, which I used for the first time last night. The smell and feel of this is just amazing. <laughs> what is it you ask? I'm just holding it so close. The uh, Peptide 4 Recovery Night Cream Oil. And I've never used a night cream oil, but the look and consistency is exactly what you can imagine from a cream oil, so it's a runnier, creamy, oily cream looking. And I don't wanna put a whole lot on because I just don't want to lose much of it, but. So there you go, cream oil. Looks how you would imagine a cream oil to look. The smell of this is just out of this world. There's something, I can't put my finger on it, but it's like subtle and it's the same way I feel when I smell jasmine flower. Jasmine is my favorite flower because the smell is just amazing and it doesn't smell like jasmine flower, but it's the same feeling I get when I smell a jasmine flower. And so I am just so excited to be using this. So that winter collection was $21 only and it came with three full-size amazing products in it. And I, after using this, oh, it smells so good. There's something almost like gingerbread-y 
about it. Oh god, it's so heavenly. Okay, so I am now, after using these three products from LMS, I am now on the LMS bandwagon. The next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was this Tarte Lifted Mascara. It's the Sweat Proof Mascara. This came from FabFitFun. And I, I, I think I'm alone in this. I don't like it very much. I don't like it because I don't feel like it's very volumizing. I'm gonna zoom in on my face here, and I put it on this eye before I started filming, and this eye does not have it on it. I'm going to put it on the other eye on camera so you guys can see how it applies. It does seem, if you are one who likes the no mascara mascara look, like it, it does seem really good for that. Like it doesn't look, it looks like I'm hardly wearing anything and my eyelashes look darker but they don't look like I'm wearing mascara really so it's extremely subtle. So if you appreciate a mascara that does, like I said, the no mascara mascara look, this could be really awesome for you. I think it retails for something like $24 and I got it for five bucks. Yeah, so I'm not really a big fan. I like really dramatic eyelash looks. So I think I'm gonna donate this. I have a lot of mascaras that I don't use. I feel the same way about these two mascaras. So this is Great Lash. I actually found this at Grocery Outlet Bargain Market, which is a chain we have in California. I don't know if it's anywhere else, but it's exactly what it sounds like pretty much. And then I feel the same way about this one, the Pacifica Stellar Gaze. Um, and I got this one in a Pettiver box, and Pettiver is not very many people know about it. I'm trying to go cruelty-free, so it's a cruelty-free monthly box, and it's $18 a month, and they send you really high-end, mostly samples of cruelty-free and non-toxic beauty products, and I, I, do let, I do those unboxings, so I have some of those on my channel. I'll link one above me here. So that's a little bit of a mascara review for you. And then the next thing I wanted to talk about, I did my hair earlier today. What I put in my hair for this is I started with the Orlando Pita Play and this was the star of the show in the winter edit sale for FabFitFun and some people were just so excited maxing out all over the place and I got one of course because of that so I like it very much for me these kinds of products in my hair type they work well but they don't work well on their own so I can't tell from one to the other if one's better than the other because I have to put something else on top. So what I put on top is this, which I've talked about multiple times, and this is a product where the first time I used it I did not like it, and now I'm obsessed with it, and I, I purchased another one from Amazon, and it's in my cupboard, and that's really awesome because that one came sealed. It is definitely not diluted, and I got it for, I think, $17 on Amazon, which is cheaper than the last FabFitFun edit sale. So I, for this hair look, I put this Orlando Pita Play, and I put this, and the reason I chose these products today is because they are both heat protectants and I think I might wear my hair curly for a day and then I might straighten it because I am going on a trip next week and it's just so much easier to have my hair straightened on trips because then I don't have to wash it. I just bring some dry shampoo and some oil. I like putting hair oil in my hair when it's straightened every couple of days. And while we're talking about hair oil, I have talked about this one before but this is my current favorite, the Marrakesh Argon and Hemp Oil Therapy and I bought this one, I bought two of these in the fall edit sale from FabFitFun, and this is my second one, and I am just kind of nursing it. A really excellent, affordable hair oil that's not cruelty-free. So if you're doing cruelty-free, this isn't for you, but if you aren't, Garnier Fructis gets things right. And I am nursing this one as well because I have, I'm trying to go cruelty-free. I'm doing a pretty good job. So if you're not cruelty-free, this one's really excellent, and it's only like $3 and it works so well and it smells really good too. So next I finished this up. This is Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I finished this up this morning and I do like it. My curls do feel nice and hydrated. My favorite favorite hair mask that I've tried recently since FabFitFun, thank you FabFitFun, was the Living Proof Restore Hair Mask in like the light purple tub. That hair mask is out of the world amazing hydrating. And I did see some people complain about this one on the FabFitFun forum saying it did nothing for them. I disagree. I think that my curls feel nice and hydrated from it. 
but that living proof hair mask oh my gosh so good here is something from a pediver box and this is an oil cleanser and in that unboxing I was asking everybody what do you think of oil cleansers let me know I've never used one and since I've been doing get ready with me's I decided to test it out because I believe the oil cleansers are good for melting off makeup and it works really well. This has kind of a, a spa scent and it is Kahina Giving Beauty from Morocco. Let me show you one more time in case you didn't catch it. This is really nice. This is from Pediver. This is empty and I talked about this recently because it was available in a rebranded packaging in the last FabFitFun sale. This is a really nice lightweight scent free moisturizer. The only thing Mira adds, oh my Unilever, Unilever is not cruelty free and it has pegs in it. So if you're interested in being cruelty free and you're ingredient conscious, pegs are an ingredient in here. I will leave links to articles in the description box below about pegs or an article about pegs to tell you that will explain why I am warning against them. I thought I was ready to take a hard no on pegs and I bought some things with pegs on it in the last sale. <laughs> I guess I'm not ready. <laughs> I want to, I'm trying to. You know, we just have to learn these things and when we're ready, we can take those steps. Can't be hard on ourselves for giving in and wanting to try something. Um, okay, and then I tried this this morning. So this is Namaste Skin Care Turmeric Herbal Anti-Aging Moisturizer. I tried it for the first time this morning because I used up the Murad. My first impression on this is that it's nice, it's lightweight, and it's scent-free, and it's a little bit too lightweight for me, I think. It, I have very dry skin, so I, I need something a little bit more moisturizing. But if you have combination, normal, oily skin, I think that this could be really, really good for you. I got this for, I think, five bucks, and it retails, as far as moisturizers go, for, I think, under 30, like $28.95 or something like that. As far as what I've learned about ingredients, there are no ingredients in here that jump out at me as something to be concerned about. This came from Pediver. This is Blissoma, and this is a clay mask. I like my clay masks to be really like like they, I like them to dry up and I like them to feel like they've sucked stuff out of my pores and they really just cleared things out and did a deep excavation. This one is much more gentle. So if you if you don't like that kind of clay mask that I just described, this one is for you. This one does not dry up like that and make you feel like that. It's much more subtle. So for me, I don't like it, but I can see some people preferring that if that makes sense. So that's my take on this one. This it's got it's got maybe another use in it. So I used it once. It's a sample size from Pediver. So most of the stuff is sample size from Pediver, except for they will send eyeliner or I showed you the mascara that I got from them. They will send stuff like that. Oh, it's got a really nice scent. You know, there's kind of a class of scents that is just kind of like spa. Like you think of massage oil scent. And I hope that that makes sense when I describe things that way. This one is like that. So I got this in my Pediver box. This is a Juice Beauty product. And if you've watched any of my past videos about the FabFitFun sales, I was obsessed with trying Juice Beauty. This is, this feels really good. It's a serum. You put it on before your moisturizer. It has a proprietary COQ10 ingredient that is supposed to be really good. And then it has um, resveratrol. I don't know how to say that, but I learned about it for the first time. There was a primer in the last outfit on sale with resveratrol, resveratrol. And I looked that up and what that is, is it's something that is created in grapes and some berries and it fights off bacteria and fungus and so that makes sense that that might be helpful in skincare. So I enjoyed using it. It was pretty much scent free. It had a really mild scent, but it wasn't like scented. It just kind of smelled like the ingredients. It was a, it was virtually scent free. It's a tiny little sample, so I didn't use it very long. I can't say if I saw any results, but I did enjoy using it. And it does have good reviews. Some of the Juice Fruit Beauty products just don't have good reviews, and I want to love them. I want to try their line of products and fall in love with them, but I don't think it's meant to be. You know what? But that's a lot of products. All right, thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.